how this morning's gonna go today. I was coming up the hill up there last night and a tree had fallen over. Adamant number one, the news for today. See, I cut up, I got all kinds of things happening around here. I got airplanes, I got animals, I got guns. It's always something around here. So, so, so this trip is, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, one of those where I have to really get something done. This stuff gonna look good. Before I can even work, oh, Mr. B, is get everything out. Cause I get real aggravated if I can't move around and get to my stuff. So step number one is I usually just take everything out. And then I bet you I'm gonna spend this whole day just doing prep stuff to actually do the work. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have enough polyurethane. There's always a trip to Home Depot, y'all. Always, sometimes multiple, multiple trips to Home Depot. I think what I'm gonna do first, I know me and I know my timeline and I know if I try to put a bathtub in, it's gonna take a long time. But what I can do is get, I'm gonna go and get the plywood up. I've got the, I can't open this door. It's still, it's still stuck. But outside, I have all the stuff for the hot water heater, the Julka system that I'm using. So what I might do is just buy like a little, you know, those little galvanized, those little big buckets, big buckets, well, not little, big buckets, and just stand in the bucket, take the shower, and then once I fix that door, I'm going to take the water and just dump it out. You know, just for now. Cause I really want, it's starting to get a little cool in here and I really would like to have hot water staying. I don't want to take a shower out there. I got some half-assed system here. I'm trying to block the, block it for privacy. No, I just need to, I just need to get something in here to get it working. So I may actually take the bathtub home cause it just, yeah, it takes up a lot of space and just, I'm going to go to Royal King. Y'all like, I love Royal King. They got popcorn. Um, it's good. So I'm going to go over there and get that little bucket to stand in a little shower. Okay. So that's my big goal for this trip is to get this stuff stained and to get it installed in this half of the bathroom. And then my little extra would be nice if I got done, but you know, I probably won't is to get, I need to get that door, I need to get that door unstuck. Maybe if I just plane things a little bit. And then I noticed, I was a little worried about this. Um, when these windows are closed, condensation is occurring inside these windows and it comes out the bottom and then it sits. And then I get mildew. Oh, no mildew. So, Hmm. I'm going to have to think on that. I cannot, for the life of me, process all the information out on YouTube's and the rest of the internet as to what the appropriate coating is going to be for these. It's just, it's all over the place, so I, I don't know. This is the really cheap uh, sand, sandy, it's the cheap stuff. So basically I have a, a metal, oh my dirty hands, I got metal, um, this whole thing behind here is metal. Then I have a zip board um, that does have a weatherproof coating. Then I have insulation that I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna redo this, y'all. So it should be pretty airtight. Um, airtight or no airtight? That's another debate. Because at one point in time I left a little gap so air could go out here and then flow out the top. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. And look, air gap. Look at me with that grill. Look at look at all that air coming in here. But I guess the point is not to let the moisture get 
on here, right? So I don't want this stuff to, I don't want a lot of condensation on here because then the mold will grow. I don't want the mold growing behind my, even if it is 20 bucks, cheap ass plywood. I don't want to redo this work, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We're just going, we're going to learn. We're going to learn something. And then if I did it wrong, I'll, I'll let y'all know. So for this, I chose to use spar polyurethane, which is supposed to be marine grade, protect against water. I, I don't know how true that is, but that, that I bought it. Uh, marketing worked. So um, I liked that it was clear and I got the water-based version and that dried really quickly, which was pretty handy. In between the coats, I think I did three coats, I would have little, you know, little tasks to do that I could bounce back to um, so that it didn't interrupt me too bad. So I opened this window earlier to let it dry out. I mean, it's only, it's just been a day and then I'm trying to close it and all of this big hive, uh-huh, but wasps and stink bugs all over the place. And now I can't get it shut. How did that, how was it, look at that. How am I gonna shut it and all these bugs? <sighs> Y'all. I'm closing this window. And now you know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find the bit that matches this stupid screw. I'm called the Phillips. Don't you fuck straight. got a magnet. Look, it's got a magnet thing on it. No shit! Oh, go doggy. <sighs> doggy, I don't have any food for you. Oh my god. This big ass dog. What, what else? I can't make a shit up. You hungry, doggy? Let's see what I got. I got my baby. I don't know if I have anything. Cornbread. I don't know if you eat that or not. Maybe that's all I got. Okay, we'll put this down, okay? Shh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> By the time I get all the stuff if I can. Oh my god, this is so I know, baby. Come here. There you go. Come here. Come here. Okay, we're gonna close this door. There's a wasp. No, I, I swear. There's a dog out here that I can't feed. Break my heart. And here's a. I can't. I can't. Y'all. Oh Come on. Crawl under here. Go ahead. Go to the light. Come on. Get under there. Get under there. There. I'm pretending you don't. You don't exist. I'm not gonna go to the bathroom. The thing about these tiny houses is you get, don't have any space like when you're trying to work. Oh my god. Well, y'all, I'm grouchy. Oh my gosh. Look at my little friend. Hey, buddy. The mean one's in the back. So I'm going to try to do... I'm going to try to have a better day than I had yesterday. I didn't, I didn't have a good, as y'all can could tell. I didn't have too good day yesterday. So today I'm going to get going here. I'm going to try to film some of the in progress 
steps. Maybe that'll make me a little more patient. If I feel like I'm trying to explain something, I'll slow down a little bit. I gotta get these two panels. I got one panel in. I gotta get these two panels in. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep recording because, boy, I didn't get much power yesterday. I don't think I'm gonna get much power today either. Look at them clouds. I'm gonna go feed the birds. Don't ask me how to happen. Okay, I had the bird seed in one of these big waggle cups. I'm pretty sure I threw it away. So there's a new bird seed, that's number one. Number two on the list is to block. I got a big hole in my crater bait. I'm just gonna come over here. See these extra pieces of wood? They're kinda handy. I saw a little rabbit up out of the hole yesterday, so I said, mm, if a rabbit can fit, a skunk might be able to fit. Oh my god, I got a tree growing. What did that how many when that happen? I mean, that last time. Okay, I hope little bunny's not in there now. Okay, so I don't have my favorite tool, which is my angle finder. I don't know where that is. So I'm gonna try to use logic here. This should work, this should work. So I measured, here's my triangle. And when I, before I bought the plywood up, I cut it with a couple of extra inches on each side. Um, Cause there's always something off. So I'm a little generous, right? So now that I'm here, I have it stained. It's kind of ready to go up, but I have to cut it. And I need to be pretty, I need to be precise. Oh, my angle finder, I wish I had that. So what I'm gonna do is try to measure the, it's not quite a triangle cause the, the top corner's cut off. So I'm gonna measure at the top. Let's see where it was. It was, oh my glasses. It was six and five eighths long at the top. And it was 41 and three eighths long at the bottom. So theoretically, I should be able to take the other piece of plywood that is straight and connect those two points on that piece of plywood, draw a straight line and rip it. That should work, right? That should work. One thing I do to make it easy is put insulation underneath the plywood before I rip it. That just makes it easy to, to keep it under control. And this took a little while, so uh, it's time to go to Real King, y'all. These little babies on clearance. That's so humiliating. They're so cute. So I don't know when this bathroom is going to be this clean again. So let's we'll go ahead and take a take a little look at it. Huh? I definitely have a little bit of a yeah, but you know. How, how, how often am I going to be turning a corner looking at it, you know, that way? I still have to do this side, but I can, I can do that later. The big thing was just to have these two done because that's probably where the bathtub's going to attach to. And get that part done. So it still looks kind of bright. I was worried it was going to darken it a lot, but um, it's not too bad. I did a satin sheen. So it's going to be the, again, the shower bathtub area. It's a toilet. Um, I'll probably put storage up here. Actually, I'll probably bring it in a little bit more. And uh, of course, that's this is gonna have all plywood too. So, so yeah. So beauty products, and more importantly, my stash of batteries. I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Oh man, couldn't I? I don't know if I can clean this up without making this dirty again. That's the that's the problem. Look at that! Look at that, y'all! I'm not gonna even turn a corner. I'm just gonna stay in here the rest of the day. I think I can make it work. We'll see. 
So I'm getting ready to head out. And I thought before I went, I kind of just set this up just to kind of eyeball maybe what this would, would look like, you know? So I think it'll look, look okay. The only thing is it's a pretty big commitment space-wise. It's going to take up this whole side. That's for sure. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to use this Julka hot tap system. I don't know whether or not I'm going to put this part inside or outside. But what it'll do, it's a propane tank. So but it uses propane. So it'll, it's a hot water heater that'll take the water out of a bucket, cycle it through with the gas to heat it up, and I'll have a little hole somewhere up here with the uh, shower head, and then I'll come out doing this little bathtub, doing a little drain, and I'll have a nice little hill there for it to, to empty out. I'll figure, I'll figure that other stuff out. Other stuff out later. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think it's a good idea. I don't know. We'll, we'll try and see.